Hey guys, welcome back to my ship of Pinions. Uh, this will be the first of the tier 5. These are the Star Cruisers, which used to be the largest ships in the game up until the Odyssey class and its family, and then the Jupiter class. They were the largest Federation ships you could play. Now there's a handful that are bigger than it, including the, uh, the one from the JJ movies, the Dreadnought from it. Not the Constitution, although it, it might be bigger than this. Anyway, I digress. Um, we'll start off with the Emissary here, which, it, I mean, these just are like giant space whales. They're star cruisers. Looks like... I'm guessing the bridge is up here, but it would kind of make more sense to have it right here. Um, got the deflector. This is the only one with the nacelles under it, and it's like all one uniframe can kind of see right there where it would separate, I guess, if you changed. Um, and one aft impulse drive, which looks puny compared to the ship and the even the warp nacelles. Uh, let's see here. Don't know if those are phasers, but it wouldn't necessarily make sense to have like three stacked like that. Might make more sense to have one going like that. That might be a strip. Of course, this is an older model, one of the first few that they used, so... This one might not even be modeled with phasers, because that might be one. Same there, you got, you can see the aft torpedo there, and there, and I guess cannons or torpedoes right here. I mean, yeah, I mean, there's not much to say. It's definitely, it was, it was a big ship, I mean, it still kind of is, but it's no longer, they no longer hold the title as largest. That's the emissary. Moving on to the Sentinel class. Let's reset the view and go. First thing I notice is the deflector there, of course, which doesn't share the same type as the emissary. Those are the torpedo launchers. They don't really make sense. It looks like they come out there and shoot that way. Again, locating the bridge on this one's kind of difficult. It would make sense to me right there. But the Federation has a tendency to put it on the top, so I want to say, like, right in there. Hmm. I don't know. Again, you got the little phasers on the bottom, and... I got it upside down. Oh, wrong button. Just one impulse drive on the back. These things are so massive, and they only have the one drive, which I guess really doesn't matter in space. Because, I mean, there's no mass to accelerate, really. I mean, there's mass, there's just no weight. Can't really make out phasers unless I wish I could like slide this down, but unfortunately I can only rotate it on an axis here. But I could. Part of the fun is figuring out where to grab it. There we go. Looks like that might be a phaser as well. Um, seems a little plated, but I don't know. Got escape pods there. Again, the unihull design, it's sleek, I guess. And let's reset and go with the Vanguard, which I believe is actually the smallest of the three, so... Nope, nope, that'd be... So the largest. Which one's smaller, the Sentinel or the Emissary? Looks like the Sentinel, but not by much. I'm going to go with the Sentinel. Anyway. So, here we have the Vanguard class. This video is actually going to wind up being shorter than normal, because, I mean, there's, these all look so similar to each other, there's not much left to say. A little round impulse drive. It has the registry, so big as the registry in two spots on the hull. And the, the nacelles are big enough to fit everything, the name and whatnot. It looks like it has, like, band-aids holding it together. Uh, again, the bridge would make sense. Whoops. Right in here, I guess, or... I don't know about right there. It seems more like a lounge area. The bridge would make sense right in here. And then, let's see, I 
guess the torpedo's there. I don't see any top phaser strips on this, assuming they're modeled. Maybe right here? That's not exactly much coverage. Um, let's see, which one of these is the most armored? Let's look at it from the side. This one's more space whale -y. Actually, let's look at it from the top. There we go. Let's see. Emissary, Sentinel. The Sentinel and Van seems to be a bit more armored, but the Vanguard seems to be a bit more structural, I guess. There's another phaser. I don't know if I pointed that out. Flipped over. I mean, really, you flip it over, and it doesn't seem to make that much difference on any of these. I mean, it could easily be upside down and still be the same. Uh, let's see here. Let's point out the nacelles. Pad the runtime a little. Nacelles on the emissary are. The Bassard collectors are more recessed, and you don't really see the field grill glow there. Sentinel, the Bassard collectors are off center, or aren't really on the front, and I don't know why I've still got this upside down. Uh, but you can see the field grills here. And you've got the Vanguard with this, a similar design as the Emissary for the Passard. They're not quite recessed, but they're at the front. And it seems to take the idea from the Sentinel and just have it in the back. And for the pylons, there seems to be a little cutout right here. They're front swept on the Sentinel and on the Emissary. So the Vanguard gets a little extra length due to them being back swept. Let's see, I want to say that one. The impulse, it's just. They're both trying. They're triangular on the emissary and sentinel, I didn't notice that. And circular on the vanguard. It just seems like they aren't good enough for the size of the ship. But these ships are like bigger than the Galaxy class, I know that much. I don't know. I was going to try playing around with the colors. I mean, frankly, there's not that much to say about this. So, I mean, they're definitely big ships, I can say that for sure, even if they aren't the biggest ones anymore. Anyway, stay tuned next week for the next set of, or next, not next week, next month for the next set of ships, which, since this had three votes and that was all the votes anything got, I'll probably just flip a coin between the Escort and the Science. I might do the science just for the heck of it because I think the escorts are going to have more to look at, so I'll save them for last. But I'm since I haven't been getting very many votes for the next set of three, which will be the last set that I do for a while until you know maybe somebody asks me to do it and I have enough interest, it'll round out the free federation and it'll be the other set of uh, tier fives. I don't remember what they're called. I want to say battle cruiser. Um, Deep Space Science and Patrol Escort. I feel like the patrol's right and the bat the uh no, it's not a battle cruiser, it's an assault cruiser, patrol escort, and I don't remember what the uh science is. I wanna say deep space, but I could be wrong. Anyway, so yes, I'm not gonna do voting for those unless somebody because I haven't been getting enough interest. One thing some of you may or probably won't even notice until I point it out is there's now a 3D print this ship button because Star Trek Online has partnered with somebody to do printing to the ships. I mean, like, you can customize it however you want. I'm just doing something right. Actually, you know what? Forget it. There's a random button. Yeah, I mean, you can just do whatever you want. And you hit that, and then for like $350, you can get it printed and custom colored and all that. Like, you can get it colored like that. You can get the whole materials changed. It's just going to look like whatever you design. Why did the pink turn dark? Okay, then. Actually, that looks kind of cool. But anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned next month, and I'll have the most likely the reconnaissance science vessels for you. Thanks for watching.